93.7 JRFM, the band Perry and Don. It's uh, it's 7.07. This is going to be interesting this morning because we have a, a real live set of Ghostbusters joining us in studio this morning. You know, really? Do we have to do... I don't think, Rick, are you embarrassed by this music? Best song I've ever. I've heard it too many times. See? Uh, see, there you go. He's blah, fine blah, with blah. it. Paranormal Investigators. Now, now, Rick, is it Peterson? Yes. Okay, and you are the, I guess, president founder of Spirit BC. And you actually do some really good work in the Lower Mainland. Yeah, we do, yeah. We, we try to help people out. And you go in, if somebody feels a weird spirit or a negative energy, you can do something about that. Yeah, that's, that's sort of our mandate, is to basically go in and uh, determine, does the person actually have a uh, spirit presence in their home or yeah. do they actually have uh, just an energy vibe that's going on that needs to be reset right right so and it's all the same thing i mean energy spirit it's all energy vibrations energy. you're picking up exactly on. okay right. so you know when you guys walked in here like my 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 hair in the back of my neck is standing on end i got goosebumps what am well, i that's, hiding that's not supposed oh my to happen God. rick's a good guy i know i know <laughs> so now i know you did a tour of the radio station here just to try to pick up what kind of energy is going on so oh, did man. you find anything oh yeah there, there's uh, one of the things i'd say about your the layout of your office is that it's there's it's like a maze so yeah. the energy doesn't flow very well in here oh. um, so but there's a couple spots that definitely i think that if we were actually to set up our gear uh and try to work with uh, we use a ghost box or a spirit box to try and get a uh, message for people to hear uh i'm pretty convinced that we'd actually have something coming through especially in that uh, copier room the photocopier room really yeah so the, the poor receptionists that have to work in there yeah there's something going on in that room the i go in weird. there every morning huh. to photocopy the music I'm not. I don't have anything around me now. Do I? Am I? Am I okay? <laughs> don't over your. I'm pretty sure that a, a number of staff members, past and present, have done untoward things in that in that photocopy. That's what room. it is. But I don't know what it, what exactly that wow. would be. So, uh, what I find funny is the, the most negative vibrations you picked up. If I could put words in your mouth, we're down by the sales area. Is that right? Uh, yes. there, well, there's yeah. There's, <laughs> yeah, 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 there's, yeah. there's yeah. a lot of. Uh, Anxiety feel down there. Anxiety. That yeah. That's a that's a very nice way to put mm. it actually. Yeah. Anxiety. Yeah. I like that. Okay, so uh so Rick, we're gonna we're gonna keep you around for a little bit here because you've done some very interesting things in, in Vancouver. What's the most interesting building that you've come across? Uh, Burnaby Art Gallery, separately house. Uh, had a major, major well, haunting there that we we dealt with. Yeah. Um, it was very heavy and it took us hours to deal so with. So they actually brought you in to remove whatever was going on. Yeah, we were actually um, we were in the process of filming uh, what's called a sizzle reel for a TV show pilot that we were uh, trying to pitch. Okay. Uh, and uh, that was one location that was brought to our attention. And uh, I'd been there previously and experienced uh, quite a few things. Um, and so when we went in there, it, uh, we did a clearing and it took us about uh, eight to 10 hours to actually Whoa. clear. And it was a lot of work. I bet. Yeah. And you're exhausted after that. Actually, yeah. I was I was literally physically spent for about 10 days. It took all my energy uh, out of me on that one. Now, don't they say when you go into a place with energy or spirits like that, you have to be careful to not take them home with you because don't yeah. they... Yeah. Uh, so you ever have that happen? Um, <laughs> you, you try to leave it there. Like, you know, when because there have been times where we have to go back to a location where yeah. you just can't get the job done in one sitting. Uh, and so we're very cautious when we, we get to the site. Before we even get there, we sort of put protection around us. It's uh, utilizing energy, white light. White light, yeah. Uh, and then uh, we constantly reinforce that when we're on site. And then as, as, as we're leaving, we re... Uh, Build that energy back up again. Right. And make sure that we're not taking okay. it with us. Rick, Rick I, I'm not. I'm not going to say I don't believe in this stuff. I'm more like a. I'm like a ghost agnostic. Like yep. I, I don't. I don't know what I believe. But is it possible that because spirits understand that you are in touch with them, if we buy that that's real, that that's why they might glom onto you guys as they as you they, they, you leave the building? Yeah. Well, yeah. And uh, as a medium, um, the, the 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 energy for, that I emit and that spirit energy emits, uh, we basically I bring my energy vibration up, they bring theirs down, and we meet in the middle, and that's how we communicate. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're aware of a medium versus somebody who's not switched on on the, the psychic level, uh, and so that's how the communication happens. Everybody has the ability. It's it's I equate it yeah. sort of to being an artist. Everybody can draw a stick man. Yeah. Uh, but then then you have the Van Goghs and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the portraits. Yeah. So it, it really uh, everybody has this ability. And and as I said earlier, is that it comes down to science. Um, we're dealing mm -hmm. with energy here. I mean, grade eight science. Energy can be neither created nor destroyed. It merely changes form. Right. So when the energy that we are when we die, that energy obviously goes somewhere. It has and, to go somewhere. And a lot of mainstream scientists, uh, the physicists, they're talking about multiverse and string theory and it gets very heavy duty. Wow. I find it all so fascinating. I 
with see, Clay, there's going to be physics involved. He is a medium, and if you want to try that, you have to get off of your small. See, I'm more of a, a medium. Okay. That's how I thought, you got to do that. See, when he said medium, I thought rare. That's what I was going for. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh, my. I will come back in a minute. Rick's going to tell us about some of the most haunted places that he's been to. Yeah. Non-pet owners. 93.7 JRFM, that's wanted from Hunter Hayes, 719. Uh, traffic is brought to you by Coquitlam Chrysler, one of BC's top dealerships where satisfaction speaks volumes. Corner of Barnett and Loki to cross from Coquitlam Center. In Vancouver, Marine Drive westbound at Argyle Street, there's a stall. And in Delta, two accidents, both of them in the same spot. Scott Road northbound, just past Old Yale Road. There are three ways to earn your Queen's MBA while you work in Vancouver. Attend an information session. Find out more at queensmbainvancouver.com. So it turns out, uh, Ghostbusters uh, Rick and Josie are here from Spirit BC this morning. Is this music better, by the way? Is that? <laughs> no, not at all. Um, <laughs> That's weird. And it turns out that Rick is, and I actually do have something in common, because he's a guy after my own heart. He, you want to approach this the spirit stuff from a scientific point of view, right? We have to. If, if we continue to do the typical stereotypical thoughts about a psychic, um, we don't bring in empirical scientific evidence that the everyday person can relate to that the science side of, uh, of the uh, issue can uh, be related to. Uh, so we have to bring validity. And the only way of doing that is by bringing science into it and having empirical evidence. That's cool. fascinating. Yeah. Now, now before we get into some of the buildings, you were saying some interesting stuff, like you don't bring antiques into your home because of all the energy that's attached to that. Right, right. I, I mean, uh, antiques, um, you think that uh, somebody, uh, be it a, a material item that they wore, yeah. uh, a pendant or a watch or whatever, it's on their person all the time. So yeah. that energy vibration of that person has been embedded into that object. Uh, and the same thing with furniture and stuff like that. So I, for me, going into an antique uh, is, is like uh, going into a fun house. It just throws me right <laughs> off the, the it's a, I can't do it. True. So Rick's already found some weird stuff in, in the building here, and there's some staff members we need to talk to after we get off. <laughs> yeah, um, that'll be interesting. But also, your history of stuff in the Lower Mainland. Now, Jessica has joined your team as like a what, you, what is she, like an a apprentice Ghostbuster then? She's sort of a... Roadie. A roadie. Oh, She's no. a roadie for your tour. No, That's no, right. No. I like that. So much I more like than that. a roadie. But, but you, you did get but a great photo of something at awesome. the Orpheum. Like, it was it really did. neat. Yeah, I got an amazing photo inside the Orpheum, and you can actually see the physical form of a woman in the theater. Okay. Now, Rick, explain okay, well. why theaters, because I know I've heard the stories of the Orpheum and the Vogue, too. Explain why there's always so many hauntings there. There's spirits. Again, um, for people, they can develop uh, an emotional attachment, right? So let's say, for example, that there was a play that they did that they were really passionate about. They put a lot of energy into it. They mm -hmm. enjoyed the venue. Sure. Um, then that can uh, resonate in their afterlife if they haven't crossed over successfully. Um, one of the things I'll tell people is this, is that spirits can come and go. Okay, mm. um, the ones that are the major issue are the ones that haven't crossed over, and typically you find sudden death, violent deaths. Um, people have strong attachments to properties. That's where we find that uh, they need to, to have that assistance to cross over, which right. is a lot so of work. In the case, say, of an actress who enjoyed her performance at the Orpheum, is it actually the spirit of that actress that's now inhabiting, or is it just literally leftover energy from that performance she loved so much? Yes. It can be one or the other, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Now, we can't let you go without talking about uh, about the uh, Riverview Hospital. I know, Clay, you have talked about an experience there when you, when you were doing well, some acting roles. Yeah, I, I, we shot an indie there, and, uh, you know, the horror films are always shot there. Uh, Mighty Elf was shot there, too, so what does that say? Mm. Um, and, and I was totally creeped out by it, but that's because we all know the history. I assumed it was because I knew the history of the place, and I found it creepy. But you're telling me that even as a layperson, I was probably picking up on some stuff. Absolutely. Uh, as I say, everybody has this ability, so you were already detecting it. Yeah. Uh, we all have auras, which is just our energy field, no different than, uh, you know, a, a battery gives off an energy field or power lines. Yeah. So that energy field is being affected from the other energies. So you're, you're detecting it. You're, you're working, and you don't even realize that you're working. Uh, but uh, you're dealing with so much, especially with, uh, unfortunately, with a, like a, a mental institution, you're dealing with such diverse energies. You're not just dealing with the sane. You're dealing with people who are insane. You have people that had uh, mental challenges. So it's, it's a very off-balance energy to begin with. Right. Mm. And then the stuff that happens on site 
De- Describe what you what you felt like as a kid driving past the hospital. Oh, I, I couldn't, uh, as a child, I mean, uh, go past there, and it's still as an adult. Every time I drive past Crease Clinic, it's sort of, okay, you know what, hopefully there's no radar, let's get past her. So, wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Pedal to the metal, that's yeah. why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's you, fascinating. In, in, the, in the work you have done there, um, you've obviously encountered some very strong stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we haven't actually done any investigations. It's just, just not permitted at that location, but uh, we, we were actually scoping the area out for uh, doing that sizzle reel we did for the show, and uh, uh, we had all kinds of experiences going on.